guys, so today I will be recreating this hairstyle by a YouTuber named Chanelia26. So let's get started. I actually found out about this blow dryer right here, which is a Revlon blow dryer um, by her. So I'm going to go ahead and blow dry her hair. Um, so in order to prep her hair for blow drying, I am using my Taylor Beauty Moisturizer Mist as well as the Taylor Beauty everything butter and I'm just gonna go ahead and blow dry that with the brush so I'm working my way from the bottom and I am working up um, a little bit about Chanelia 26 um, she actually recreated this hairstyle using my products Taylor Beauty so I'm so excited to recreate this look on summer so here we are her hair is completely blow dried um, it's probably about 95% blow dried so in her video she starts by dividing her hair into four sections so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same exact thing she does with her daughter's hair divided it in four sections now I can see why she um, does her hair on blow dried hair because it's just so much easier um, for me to do her hair while it's blow dried at this length. So now I'm going to go ahead and create that triangle that she does. She actually uses the edge control to do this part of her hair, which is a similar step that I do whenever I do Summer's hair as well. I like to do um, divide her hair in triangles, and that's just me making sure I get every part of um, her tutorial correct. So here I am just making sure I smooth everything down. And now she does a bantu knot. I can't do a bantu knot how she does it. She kind of just wraps it around. But in order for me to do a bantu knot, I have to twist it. So I just went ahead and I twisted the bantu knot. And I just continued to wrap the knot. It was a little bit difficult for me. So for the next step in her process, she does cornrows around the triangles of her braids. Now... If you guys notice, I don't do a lot of corn rolls. One, because um, Summer doesn't do well with them. And two, um, my braiding skills is not that good. But I did get this pretty good. So I think I nailed that part. So that part was pretty easy. And she didn't show doing the rest of the Bantu knot. So I just went ahead and followed that same process of adding the edge control and um, doing Bantu knots. So now she goes ahead and she braids two braids along the side of her hair and her daughter helps her with the, the braids. So here I am, I'm doing that same exact step. Um, I'm doing the faux sideburns and I am corn rolling. And actually, I didn't even know Summer knew how to do a twist on her hair. So I showed Summer the video and she did a twist and she nailed it. So... Yeah, thumbs up for Summer for being able to do the twist because I didn't know she was that good. So now she does the back of her hair. She uses the Perfect Coils Curling Jelly and um, she twists it on her hair. So here I am. I've added the Taylor Beauty Perfect Coils Curling Jelly. I've twisted it on her hair and I really do love how the jelly works on blow dried hair. The definition is absolutely amazing. So here we are. The hairstyle was super easy. Now I'm just adding the beads how she adds them. Well, she doesn't show how she adds them so I'm just gonna go ahead and add the beads as well I really love how she added the beads in the hair jewelry she's really well known for adding beads and hair jewelry to her styles um, which just makes it extremely unique so I love that as well and I've actually copied a lot of her other styles with um, beads and hair jewelry so here it is. Do you guys think we nailed it or nah? So here is Chanelia. Her daughter's name is actually Chanelia. Um, and here is Summer. So thumbs up if you guys think we nailed it. If you want to see us recreate another video, let us know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I encourage you to try this style as well on your daughter because it is such a cute hairstyle that lasted us a good week. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave your questions below and thanks for watching.